welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. And we're taking on the next mastering mission. We're going after the pike now. Well, the pike. Oh, they're all pickerel in this mission though. So we're headed after pickerel here. And um, we're gonna hit three, three different waterways again on this mission. And we're gonna catch these guys on a casting spoon. So um, if, you, if you saw the video, on this week's bait shop that's what we talked about so <clears throat> i'm not gonna hopefully you watch that so i'm equipped with all my casting spoons that i think are gonna work here um for this mission so we got that set up we'll run over there we'll talk about that in a little bit here um this mission we get uh what do we get for this one we get a trophy frog popper which is pretty cool guys um and we get trophy braid for that I, I know if you're like me you got I got I got enough line up the yin yang I, I don't need any more line give me some cool lures but <laughs> or give me more live bait you know give me a gift card to go to go to the mega store and buy live bait that would be cool huh why don't they start giving out gift cards yeah you can go to the mega store and buy bait damn that was genius oh somebody will steal that idea now all right, I'm always a day late, dollar short, my beer's half empty all the time. It's never half full. All right, well, we're going after Pickerel. We're going to Mudwater, we're going to Naharan, and we're going to Emerald. That, that's where we're headed to. Let me get to, oh, why isn't that up, Buck, on your screen over there? How are you supposed to transition to that if it's not there? There we go. All right, guys. So, mission, pike cut number one, got equipped with a casting spoon, and it's got to be something between, it's either one up, two out, or three up, fellas. Guys, ladies, and gentlemen, they, that's going to be hard for me to do. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> sounds like we're going to a concert, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That's what we need. And, now, the fish that we're going after. All right. So, in mud water. Mud water, we need a 1.3 pounder or uh, 589 grams for, for you other guys that don't have to be suffering and using this imperial system. Um, you need one 589 grams or better. All right, for Naharan, we got 1.5 um, pounds on Naharan. That's 680 grams, guys, uh, for that guy. And then we got Emerald. Emerald is 1.7 pound and that's going to be 771 grams and then we got to catch somewhere maybe one maybe now i'm thinking this is going to be a uni um it's it's possible that it it could be a, a big trophy i don't know i haven't caught i mean i've caught unis and trophies and I didn't go back and look at what my uni pickerel was. I can't remember what the weight of that guy was. But and then and then but where do, where do, where do you draw the line? I don't know. But we'll see where we get that because it doesn't matter where we catch it. But I don't think we're going to catch in mutt water. They're not that big. <laughs> I mean that's why we only have to go you know 500 or 589 grams on these guys. They're not that big down there. Now in the heron. Um, that's where we're, I'm going to start there at Naharan. Um, I like fishing there. That's where we just left off with, with the last one. I fished there with Fishing with Buck on Sunday night. And uh, I figured we'll, we'll grab this guy first. We'll work our way backwards uh, this time. I'm going to do Naharan and then do Mudwater because I believe that the big guy is going to be at Emerald with that uni pickerel, the uni chain pickerel. That's the only place out of these three waterways that you can catch a uni, which I believe this 2.8 pounder is going to be. It's going to be a uni. So that's where my that's my bets on that one, fellas. That, that's how I'm looking at that one. All right. Let's see here. What you got turned on there, Buck? Hey, that works. Yeah, that's what we wanted. There we are. Now I'm still in the picture while we're talking. Hopefully, I'm not in the way of everything anymore. All right. So <clears throat> that's our missions. That's where we're headed to. Okay, so now let's got the, the fish and what we gotta do. Let's talk about Buck, where'd your where'd your mouse go? Come here boy. 
There he is. Let's go look at what we're taking for this mission, guys. Um, oh yeah, you are in the way, Buck. So get that out of the way. You're in the way. You're in the way. All right, for this guy here, I've still got pretty much the same sticks. I did change it up on the rear end down here. Though I got took a couple of heavier ones because we're going to, you know, we not for this mission, but I'm trying to keep this because we have the Pike Two in next, where we have to catch a little bit bigger fish. So I'm trying not to have to. So I got enough to do the next two missions, I believe. We'll see how it works out, though. So I got my night feather, advanced. All right, he's a little ten pounder, but you know that that that'll catch these. <laughs> that that'll catch every one of these fish. All right, and we're bringing the jig winner. This this guy's sweet. You can throw him a mile, uh, especially down in these three waterways. You can stand in one spot with this rod and throw the entire lake, our river. It doesn't matter. This jig winner is a killer. All right, and of course, this is still my overkill. He, he's just in my satch. All right, and you know, I gotta have gotta have my omni float for my panfish. I can't go fishing without a small pole, a uh, small float rod. So that's just the way that works. Now we get into where we're throwing. Now what I wanted to show you, let you guys know, what what I should have talked about this along the way here. All right, now on this guy, I'm loaded up with the quarter ounce. All right, so we have the quarter ounce red and white daredevil casting spoon on him. All right, on this guy, now he can take a 5 8 ounce. This jig winner can take a 5 8 ounce. So the only 5 8 ounce in the game is the eagle. So I got him loaded up on this. All right, so three, of course, um, he's got a half, he's got a half ounce loaded on him. Um, overkill pull, but that's where the half ounce red and white is sitting. Now, of course, we just got live bait on there. Now, this is where I threw the ROM on. Cause he's six seventh, and I, I threw a I threw a half ounce red and uh, yellow and red rom, and I haven't fished with this guy much at all. So we'll see how this thing works. And then of course I I brought some big poles for later down the road with casting spoons, and we we've got we've got the blue and and the red on these big guys. And these are just a 62 pounder and 23 pounder, and we can drop down to a nine pounder. So I got the buzzer red one. I can throw every casting rod. We'll throw them all out there depending on the fish that we're going after for the next two missions. And that's what I'm taking. So with that being said, here we are. Get, got myself a license already. And all I got to do is pay, pay the fiddler to get ourselves a ferry ride down there to, to North Kakalaki. So I will see you all over there. All right, guys, here we are. And... Taking a look at our weather forecast here for today. We got our peak starting right now at 5 a.m. and it's just going to slowly dwindle down. So this is probably going to be our best shot to hit the most of them. Um, let's see here. Where do we want to go? I have my best luck um, with these pickerel over here by that Duncan truck over there. The great parking job. So we're going to we get a only there situated. Let's go fishing down there. On, you can do it. There we go. All right, let's, let's move on down here. What do I have got in my hand? Well, let's just start off with this guy. Oh, oh, fuck, you're getting wet already. I told you, them brand new boots. All right, this looks good. Oh, we'll start off with the little guy here. I'm just gonna go right alongside of these hornwort patches. Try to pick through the bass that are going to hit this. I think it, we're going to start off actually, since these pike guys, you know, they like to come up from the bottom and hit their, hit their, so, instead of working the bottom, I think the bass and most other ones, we're going to work the copper column there, and there's our first one. Well, <clears throat> He ain't exactly 1.5 pounds, but we'll keep him. All right, so that seemed to work, that theory that I'm, I decided to adopt here this morning. And we're just gonna, we're gonna fish the top, top of the water column for a while. And see if we can 
grab a couple of these pickerels up here and see if we can get that trophy one. So this is all I'm going to do is just work this casting spoon across the, keep it, I'm not going to let it drop any further than halfway through the water column for eh, maybe 10, 10 casts here. See what we get. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Well, fellas, uh, that didn't take long. <laughs> New personal record for Buck. Uh, the very next cast, he, he, in fact, it was the cast I paused the camera on. He hit right here at the bank. Uh, trophy Redfin Pickerel, there he is, 1.7. Uh-oh, I wasn't tracking the mission, though. <laughs> All right, let me, uh, let me pause here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take the station identification. Okay guys, I'm back, and uh, no, I wasn't tracking the mission, but we did get credit for this guy, and Heron got the Redfin Pickerel 1.5 pounds or better, or that would be 680 grams. So we grabbed him, we had a 1.7 pounder there. Let's take a look at the inventory, what we get there? We got the small one in there, 0.8, and then bang the 1.7, early morning. All right, guys, well, that pretty much takes care of that one. Let's go back to our missions here. Where are we headed to next? We're gonna head to Mudwater. Mudwater, we're gonna catch a grass pickerel, 1.3 pound or better. So we're going after a trophy over there at Mudwater. Um, I'm gonna clean up here, and I will see you guys over at Mudwater. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And no, I'm not over at Mudwater yet. Um, of course, you know how Buck is. I had to, had to hang around until I made enough money to pay for my damn my trip down here. So I decided to give each one of these lures, since we caught that guy so quick in the morning, give one of, each one of these lures basically the same amount of cash in there. All right, so was, we started off with that um, the red and white daredevil one, the young guy. So we got this redfin pickerel, and then we ended up getting the tro uh, we get we got the trophy redfin pickerel. And uh, got a couple of couple of bass on that guy, so I switched over to the eagle spoon. Bang! Grabbed another trophy, red fin on the eagle, another on the eagle here. Um, smallmouth bass on the eagle, another smallmouth bass on the eagle. Trophy smallmouth on the eagle, another trophy on the eagle. So then I went over to the the red, the yellow and red nom, rom. All right, grabbed one large mouth bass on that guy. Another large mouth bass, and that was it, guys. And I thought, well, maybe my bite's dying, so I went to the blue um, hologram one. Right after this rom one, bang, small mouth, large mouth large mouth and then I hit a spot where they just hit it was trophy after trophy after trophy I pulled three of these guys up bang 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 out of the same hole just one cast after another with this guy <laughs> nice nice large mouth bass so then I figured okay I'll give the red one a try now the red one's a lot heavier he's a five odd hook um, we weren't even allowed to use him in the competition anyway but I had him here and I wanted to test him out. And I had to work him because he is a bait caster. And of course the bait casters have a slower recovery. And this is a much heavier lure, ounce and a half. So I had to work him at a very small, minute stop and go, but on a three. And that was the only way to keep him in the middle of the water column. So, and the other guys, I had to bump up the other bait casters. When I switched to the bait casters, of course I had to bump it up to a two speed. Um, versus the spinning rods where you're throwing and, and you're moving these baits real good on the one speed So that's just your basically it's your recovery You know if you you're looking at a 38 recovery on that guy and this guy is a 31 Which is actually about the same as the damn bait casters uh, on this here little guy But again, you're dealing with a quarter ounce lure not an ounce and a half or three quarter ounce five five eighths ounce all right, guys. Well, I just wanted to let you guys in on that one. You know, um, I'm gonna cash out now. I made enough, 5,800. That pays for my what? What's it cost to get here? 4,400 to get here. So we we come out in we come out in the black. So we're good. All right, guys. With that, I'll see you over at Mudwater for real this time. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, I'm back. Boy, oh boy, did the pain for Buck. It never stops. My pain. My agony. I leave that lake. I only made $5,800 on that trip, and I get hit with a $54,000 fishnet repair cost. Ah, the pain of it all. All right, we're here in Mudwater. I'm $54,000 broker. And let's see, where are we going? We're going, well, all the pickerel are up along in here. Basically, the bigger ones that I know. So we could start here, I guess, on this side. You can catch them up here a little bit over on this side too, but let's start over here. We'll start over here and we'll give her a whirl. Get a new friend's room there. All right, let's go fishing, Buck. coffee. Still early in the morning for Buck. 11 o'clock. Well, we're not going to use that big pole here now, Buck. Oh, and the sun is coming up on us. It, good old mud water. Why are you here on this side? What did you do? side first and if not we'll move on down to the other spot down in there and throw over there of course of course it reads but we can almost get over there now pull in one right here see what we get here and again I want to keep it keep it in the middle of the water column problem is this way from here might have to work this in the beginning work this lure a little quicker because of the current we're pulling a lot we're pulling with the current instead of ahead of it and you normally have to increase your retrieve a bit to make your lure work the way you want it to so you have more control over it otherwise it just kind of lethargically comes back to you and it's hard to make it dance throw a few more along here before we move. We'll see what happens. Well guys, I got one here coming in. I don't know. I grabbed a bass from the last cast. I think it's a bass too. But I, uh, yeah. Basically, because of the flow, um, I kicked it up a notch on the retrieve speed. He latched on pretty damn fast, so. We'll try a couple more on two here from that far out because it's nice you can, you can get her moving right off the bat when it hits the water it doesn't fall too far on two so we'll see what happens we'll drag her through a couple more times on this side catching bass no no pickle yet we'll see <clears throat> all right guys wasn't having any luck that spot. I just moved down the bank, down the river a little ways here. All right, let me show you where I'm at. That's our first one here. Come on, now you can take it back. Okay, we were, we were over here. I was throwing up in this way. So I just kind of moved down here. And I'm, I'm hitting this spot here. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this spot over here. I'm kind of throwing that way. see what we get here. We're going to try a few more times in here, and then we'll turn around and we'll fish down this way, because there's a 
and know there's, there's a trophy grass pickle in there. But I'm fishing here right now. We'll be right back. Well, guys, we got our 1.3 pounder. Unfortunately, he's a damn chain pickerel, not a grass pickerel, so that ain't gonna help. <laughs> We're back at it. I just caught a couple of them right out of here, out of this hole. I just turned around from fishing there to fishing there. So, we'll go back in here a couple more times, see if we can fish one out. Otherwise, then we're gonna move on down and fish, fish over there. Way over there across the bank and we'll see what we can grab on. All right, I'll be right back. Well, we've got a fairly decent one on here. I thought he was bass at first, but he's not. He's a damn both. <laughs> I knew I had something worth it. <laughs> he was bending my stick. Well, he ain't definitely nothing we want. I'll be back. A nice one here, fellas. Trophy freshwater drum six pounder. He's after what we want, but we'll take that money next beat, huh? won't we? All right, we're back at it. Caught it near, damn near everything's in this river, but I ain't got that trophy thing yet for grass. We're just, I'm just working my way down the bank here right now. Let's see what we're doing. All right, guys, we grabbed him. The trophy. Oh boy, it gave it to me. He was only 1.299. <laughs> he was 1.3, but he marked him off the list. So, hey, I'm not going to argue with you, Fishing Planet. <laughs> well, we got him. All right, we'll keep him. Well, fellas, got a hell of a lot of fish here. I mean, we got the three grass pickles right off the bat in the early morning. But I just couldn't couldn't get one the right right size. And finally, you know, caught a lot of the chain pickerel, a lot of chain pickerel on that on both of those air spoons. But again, they were all over. I mean, one three, one three, one three, one three. Had them all, but the one that counted was a trophy grass one two nine nine. But hey, I'm not going to argue with them. All right, where are we off to next, fellas? I believe it's Emerald Lake. We're going to to finish this show up. Emerald, hopefully we'll get our uni up there that works on this one. So, with that being said, guys, I will see you. And I'm not, uh, what do I got here? Inventory, how much did I make? 33.39. Yeah. Well, I need another thousand bucks. All right, I'll see you in a bit up at Emerald. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm here, made it to Emerald. All right, let's see, where we're gonna go in first then? Well, there's a lot of pick chain pickle everywhere in this place. I guess we'll spawn in over here. We'll try to hit these lily pads first. We'll pull up along here, go down along here and see if we can grab one, grab one up here. We'll start off there, and then we can always, then we'll work our way around where the docks are, and if we don't get anything off the, off the shore here, then we'll jump in the boat and head out. We'll get one, all right. I'll see you down there. Okay, guys. Well, <clears throat> I'm lined up here where I, where I like to fish for these chain pickle, but it's, it's it's a little bit hazy out there, so you can't. It's real hard to see my marks, and I, and I can't zoom in if I get a target out there. I can zoom in right out there because that's as far as this stick will throw. Is 120. Is is my walleye hole? And if you stay to the left of that, off of that last buoy. Aim for that, just kind of drop it in halfway between the buoy and just past, just past the um, lily pads there, where I'm going to throw it right in. And we'll pour, we'll draw it right back past them lily pads. Normally they hit right in the front of the lily pads. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I think this is, this is probably going to be the one that makes the longest getting these two out of here. Unless I get super lucky. <laughs> and grab that uni right off the bat. But we'll see how it goes. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, um, it's in the middle of the day. 
and the servers are getting beat up. Oh, fish and planet? More horsepower in there. Now that damn sure ain't anything we want now, is it? Yellow perch. Go back and get your buddies. Alright guys, we're gonna throw at it for a while here. We'll see what we can rest up. We'll be right back. Well, guys, we grab something up here out of that mullet pad, out of that mullet pad over there. I think he's white, but... Well, I, mean, I don't quite know yet. I ain't got a good look at him with this. Well... Definitely... Oh, hell. That just did it all. We needed one over 2.8. We needed... Well, one fish. That... That completes that mission. Sweet! Now that's the way you do it. Alrighty guys, $342 for that. Well, of course, I only got two pounds here, so I ain't got no damn money. We're gonna be hanging out here for a while, fishing. Damn. Was that the first fish? I think so. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at the... the no, we did have that yellow perch. I forgot about him. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep him. And there's our reward. We got our trophy, Frog Pupper. Sweet. This item placed in your backpack. Well, Buck thanks you very much. So do I. There we are, boy. We could always use that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Pipe cut one, casting spoon. Wonderful catch and good work. Make these rewards. And we'll claim that. Hang on just a second, though. Nope. Yep. Alright guys, well, yeah. Yeah, that guy there. there we are, we're back. Well, that takes care of mastering cut number one. That worked out pretty good for us, I thought for sure, I, I was dreading that. I thought for sure it was going to take forever, and I kind of was thinking that I had to go, I had to go a, um, up to a uni. That trophy did it right then and there. That was pretty good. I'm glad Buck was wrong in his cipher in there that we had to be grabbing you. Just a nice big old fat trophy like that worked out kind of well. All right, well, let's jump back over there. Let's take a look. The next mission, White Hunt 2, Shad. All right, we're gonna use a Shad Jig Bait. Show everyone what a masterful pike catcher you are by using shads for catching pike on Ponchkin, White Moose, and St. Croix. A lot of fun fishing here. And of course, we're stepping it up a little bit. We're getting a little heavier now. We're going after some musky, northern pike over there at White Moose. We know where they live. Ponchkin, we know where them damn pickles live. Alright guys, well, that'll be our next mission. Gonna need a day probably to process this one so we'll get started on that one either later tonight or early tomorrow and i want to thank you guys for watching i hope this helped out i hope you enjoyed it hit the old number hit the like button subscribe if you're not already a subscriber got any buddies that like the fish let them know about us maybe they'll get some enjoyment out of this too Alrighty guys, you can follow me on Facebook, as you know, on the Discord server, we're out there, I'm streaming all the time there, so you can normally hook up with me there if I'm not on Fishing Planet. Remember, never ever give up the fight. See you later.